Seja Tibialis, Master of Batesian Mimicry. Since my boyfriend purchased some recreational land on an island in North Idaho, I've been able to explore the outdoors and look for a lot of insects. I found these. They are mud dauber wasp larval cases made from clay. And here is an Isabella tiger moth larva that I found inside of the bark of a tree. This is called a lenticular spider egg case, most likely from a crab spider. Here is one of the crab spiders that was in the area. And actually the wasps that make the clay uh, egg cases actually eat the spiders. They paralyze them and leave them for their young. This last time we visited, I had a chance to watch the sunset for the first time. It was beautiful. The next day I went looking for inverts. I found these aphids and this daddy long leg and an unidentified spider guarding her egg sac. She looked like a woodlouse spider and some ants that were basically telling me off. I don't think the ants liked me in their space. And I went into the forest and I saw a lot of lichens and moss, a lot of dead trees. There seemed to be a lot of parasitic insects that were eating the trees. The trees had a lot of thick bark. I don't know the species. And I found a lot of dead things and a lot of things that had hatched. I took my dog Yuri and we went out into the forest around the island and we saw mushrooms and we saw damselflies and we explored in the trees and what was supposed to be a trail but it was covered in all kinds of debris lots of sticks um, lots of uh, thorns but we found so many things to take photographs of. I love exploring all of the small details. And there was some waterways on the other side since it is an island, some swampy areas. I didn't really know what I was looking for, but I wanted to find something unusual and when I say unusual, that would be something I hadn't seen before. After all this exploring on the last day, I was back at camp working and I came across something that I'd never seen. So I was just using the pickaxe to get some uh, roots out of the ground so he don't trip and fall. And I saw out of the corner of my eye, these giants on the dog leash and I thought that they were giant yellow jacket but I looked closer and they have the same powdery look as a moth and you can see also the feelers are like a moth and they're mating I think they're incredible honestly I've never never seen these before and I've lived in the Northwest all my life so for this trip looking around for some bugs this just happened to be right in the campground and uh, that's after I was hunting and found all these other pictures that I've shared this is just awesome from what I could tell right away they were moths but now that I've come home and done some research, I can tell you more about them. They are the Seizia tibialis, or the American hornet moth, also known as the cottonwood crown borer, or the poplar clearwing borer. 
they are parasitic um, and they're diurnal, meaning they um, come out during the day. And they are masters of Batesian mimicry, which means they are a harmless insect, a harmless creature that mimics a harmful creature. They even mimic the way that a wasp flies. They have a two-year life cycle, so they overwinter as larvae for two, they do this two times, and they pupate below the bark surface or um, in the roots of trees, and they emerge as adults in late June or, or early July. And this was just fascinating. Um, they, uh, they were just amazing, as you can see. And what was really interesting about them, when I looked at them, was their antenna and the fact that they looked powdery. Those were the two things that gave away. And of course, they don't have a stinger. When you look closely, then you see their moths, but it was a surprise to see them over near the dogs. <laughs> and it really drew my attention. And I ended up with them on my hand, and they stayed there for quite a while, and then I released them. They were just fantastic. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned something new. Um, I know I did.